हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम मोर क्वेश्चन व्हिच विल बी ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ रिस्क आवर टुडे सेशन विल बी द लास्ट ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ रेशियो एंड आई होप दैट you will get everything that i teach you today and i also hope that you understood everything whatever i taught in my last videos and uh, you 100% get the idea about the ratio and now you are able to solve any type of questions which based on ratio okay today i will complete this and if we get the then we shall start the new topic that will be on proportion so students let's see the next question the question is the ratio the ratio of my expenditure of my expenditure to saving
that we have after spent okay just suppose that you get 100 rupees from your parents just suppose that you get 100 rupees from your parents and you directly go to market to buy something and you spend 85 rupees on your shopping then how much did you have or how much did you left now the money that left will call saving and in order to find the saving just subtract 85 from 100 you will get 15 rupees as your saving ok so that we shall use this formula to solve this question we can solve this question by two methods I will show you the both methods one by one so method one the first method is called traditional method and the other method is called advanced method I will first solve this by traditional method so here given that given that ratio or you can write expenditure that is exp ratio saving is equal to four ratio one okay it has been given expenditure ratio saving is equal to four ratio one and Consider, consider expenditure is equal to four x and saving is equal to one x. Therefore. 4x plus 1x that is expenditure plus saving will equal to income so here we get 18,000 18,000 is the income therefore expenditure plus saving is equal to income and after solving 4x plus 1x that is 5x and this will be equal to 18,000 therefore 5x will equal to 18,000 ok now just solve it we get x equal to 18,000 upon 5 and now solve it 5 1 is 5, 5 3 is 15, 5 6 is 30, 0 0. So here we get the value of x is equal to x is equal to 3600. Therefore, expenditure. Therefore, expenditure. What is the expenditure? expenditure is 4x therefore we get 4x is equal to 4 multiplied by 3600 and now solve it we shall get 3646 of 24 and 4 3 is 12 0 0 this is our expenditure this is our expenditure and the saving is 1 multiplied by 36 100 will equal to 3600 so that the expenditure and the saving is 14,400 rupees 
and the saving is 3600. So this is the correct answer. Therefore, this is our correct answer. Okay, and I hope that you get everything clearly. And this method is called traditional method. This is our traditional method by which we have also solved various questions in our previous session. Okay, now let us see the another method. Total is equal to 5. Total that is 5. What do you mean by total? Expenditure plus saving is equal to 5. That means here according to its ratio the income is 5 rupees and 5 has been given here 18,000 which shows that 5 is equal to 18 thousand okay as this is total total means income this is already given therefore 5 is equal to 18,000 hence what is the value of 4 therefore 4 will equal to 18,000 multiplied by 4 upon 5 this method is unitary method now we get 5 and 5, 3, 6, 0, 0. So here we get 3, 6, 0, 0 multiplied by 4 will give us 1, 4, 4, 0, 0. This is the expenditure. Here we have find the value of 4 and the value of 4 is the expenditure. Since what is the total salary? The total salary is 18,000. Therefore, in which the total salary is 18,000, out of which I have spent 14,400. Then, how much I save now? So, 18,000 minus expenditure that is 14400 which give us 3600 therefore the expenditure is 40400 and saving is 3600 therefore these are the required results and i hope you all get these two methods clearly now let us see the next question. The next question is the ratio of height of two sisters A seven ratio A if the height of shorter sister shorter sister is 
154 cm then what will be the height of longer system longer system this is the given truss okay student this is our given truss so let us see what does the question say question says that there are two system suppose that s1 s2 s1 s2 are two system the ratio of height of these two system is 7 ratio 8 the height of two system is 7 ratio 8 and one thing is given if the height of short system is 154 cm then we have to find this is as well given as well. we have to find the height of s2 then we have to find the height of s2 okay so here we have also two method to solve this problem here as well the rest of the value of as well is seven which is equal to 154 okay here seven is equal to 154 therefore eight using the unitary method eight will equal to 154 multiplied by eight upon seven and after solving we shall get seven on the seven Seven to the forty and seven to the forty. And after multiplying twenty-two by eight, twenty-two multiplied by eight will give us one seventy-six centimeter. Therefore, one seventy-six is the right answer. One seventy-six is the height of longer system. Okay, student. I hope it is clear to. Happy. If you have any doubt or any question, then please go to comment section and leave your comment there. I'll clear your doubt in my next video. We shall meet in the next video with new topic that will be on proportion. Till then, goodbye.